Hey guys, um, this is Potato Tech here, and um, I just, f I really wanted to 3D print my city for a very long time, and I just couldn't get the thing to work, cause uh, I'm a noob, but I finally figured it out with the Python script thingy that Andrew G got. Godwin, I I don't know his, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, he made this thing in Python, and I did not know how to use it, but I figured it out, and I've noticed other people are having trouble with it, cause they also don't know how to do it. Uh, so I figured it out. It works. At, it works great. I love it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Well, I'm going to show you from the beginning to uh, 3D print your city. Um, so, if you're not in the U.S., I would just recommend just looking up uh, London or wherever you are and then the LiDAR. And you see some things come up. Yeah, here's everything. Your lidar data, and lidar is just a point cloud. Just gets the heights of everything with the lasers when it bounces off the building and goes back up. Uh, it just <laughs> I'm not really good at explaining, but uh, it just gets the heights of everything. So you can get the lidar data f if you're in the U.S. from this site here. Link will be in the description. So, yeah, um, I'm going to, let's see, what, what, what should I, what town should I pick? Oh, I also, uh, wanted to print, um, my suburban area, but suburban areas don't really work with this, sadly. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to print, should I do Niagara Falls? Yeah, wait, I may, wait, that's in Canada also, so I don't know if it'll be there. So I'm just actually going to print just New York City. Let's see if they have some LiDAR data here. I'm going to search Manhattan, New York, and I'm going to click on the left side, Elevation Source Data, 3D EP, LiDAR, I'm going to check that. Then make sure you have LiDAR point cloud selected. Whoa. So and then you click find products. As you see here, the latest one is 2015 or 2013. I don't really know. Yeah, 2015. So yeah, you can just do click the download button. And it should download New York City, basically. Let's folder. Check these files. I'm just gonna do everything in my uh, downloads folder, but just make sure you have a directory that you know. So I'm pretty sure we. Whoa. Uh, we probably don't need any of this. It's probably in here. Yeah, as you see, the last the LAS file. I am going to extract that, and. Here it is. So I'm gonna steal this and actually just put it on my desktop. And I hate when this happens. I don't know why it does that. Um. So yeah, the next thing you're gonna need to do once you get your LAS file of the place you want, you're gonna wanna go and get Python. And this is important. You gotta get the late. You gotta get uh, Python two. Python three did not work for me, so you you're gonna want Python two. I don't know the difference. I'm not a programmer. I only know a little bit of code, but uh, of Java. But I don't. I'm not that great. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna need Python two. And just install whatever operating system you have. If you have Windows, 
it would be this one. If you have Mac, it would be that. Uh, I don't even know if the plugin. I oh, it's not a plugin. I I don't even know if this works with Mac. Probably. But yeah, once you download that, you are going to want to set an environmental variable, which is basically which you need to run Python in your command prompt. I uh, just just search a variable and it should come up. I don't know why it didn't do the other thing. So you click that. Click environmental variables. You click path. I don't. Uh, yeah. You click this path, and you edit it. S click this button called new, and then you just add where Python was saved when you downloaded it which I saved it in my D drive and in a folder called Python 27 so that's how I do that how you set the environmental variable so this is New York City right here in this file which it's basically just a bunch of points you can download Displaz which is basically a just a preview of what your last file looks like um, so I can Im open this in here as you see it's only a little tile uh, yeah this is Manhattan I should have downloaded uh, the other different part of New York but this this should be good um, so as you see there's some buildings and you also can see that they're just basically points all these points are where the laser hit and then went back up and that you can find the distance with lasers uh... yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm just gonna stop uh... here when you're done with that you're gonna want to get LAS tools which is from this link in the description also uh, you just go here click the download button I already downloaded it so yeah you download that extract it and I put it right here so once you're once you download the LAS tools you can go into bin and look for LAS to dem DEM, which is right here. You can click that. Uh, it's kind of buggy if you don't put it when you maximize it. it it's weird when you click stuff. Um, so I'm going to click browse, and my thingy is in the desktop. And here it is. This is the Manhattan. I double click it, and it should open right here. This is Manhattan. You don't really see anything. But uh, once you do this, um, I'm going to click this output. I'm going to save it. Where would I want to save it? Alright, so I'm going to change. I'm going to go into my desktop. I'm going to save this into my desktop and I am just gonna use the current I'm gonna make this name Manhattan and make sure this is set to elevation and then you wanna come down here make sure format says ASC and then click run 32 or run 64 I again don't know the difference don't really care I know I have a 64 bit computer so I clicked a 64 mm. I don't know if that's the flipping logic behind it whatever and it's gonna say not responding because it's stupid let's see if it's saved as you see there's a one and a half million points that this laser had to do but look right here you have a PRJ file and you have a file that is in ASC as you right, see right here ASC so you can close out of LAS to DEM. You can close that. 
Uh, you don't need the PRJ file or this. I'm just going to delete those. And here's Manhattan in an ASC file. Yes. And the next thing you're going to want to do is go to this GitHub in the description also. It's called LiDAR Tile. Uh, again, this is where everybody got stuck and didn't know what to do. So I'm going to show you right now. Uh, you're going to want to click Cloner Download. Uh, download the zip. Extract the zip. And you'll see right here, LiDAR Tile Master. And you'll see stuff in here from before as you see it made an STL file um, so here is everything you need basically so uh, we're gonna go into command prompt and I'll make that big and we're gonna go to CD desktop and uh, I don't know if I yeah I think you have to do this I, you gotta go into the uh, folder LiDAR Tile Master. I'm not sure you have to do this, but I'm just going to do it just in case. Um, once you do this, you can get the command on the GitHub. Alright, so here is basic things. Uh, there's a readme in the GitHub and it tells you what each of these uh, letters do. Uh, this is the base, which tells you how many uh, how many layers I think it is. Not sure, but I think that's how many layers from the bottom it is. It's gonna do. Uh, here's the uh, enhanced Z multiplier, and here's the scale. I'm gonna scale it down a little. So once you copy that into here you're gonna want to write where that ASC file is so my ASC file is in desktop slash Manhattan dot ASC you need the ASC and then click enter it should work as you see and once you do this we can see it's saving it should output into here as you see it made an STL but just make sure do not open the STL because of errors that you'll probably do just don't open it until it goes back to normal so you can close out of that and then look here's your output file now let's open it see what happened and I would uh, play around with the settings on um, you should play around with your settings in a uh, on the uh, command prompt uh, you can check them, check the command in uh, in Andrew's thingy right here. So each of these things does something. I just showed you this one. But as you see, you can just add those if you need to play around with it more. So yeah, as you see, here is... I mean, I could probably use some tweaking with it, but it's not that bad. <laughs> that building looks a little... At <laughs> yeah, as you see, you you got to play around with the settings. And if you notice, there is a line. That is... I th I think that is because of the the plane that's flying over. It just isn't that accurate. I don't know. I think it is. Like it can't be that accurate. <laughs> uh but yeah, as you see, this is Manhattan. I guess it looks better from above, but 
yeah. You just play around with the settings and it'll look a lot less icky, I guess. These things. You see here? It's basically what we did, but... But, as you see here, look at the detail. It's a lot cleaner. And it has definitely a lot more, uh, it's just a lot more cleaner. It's, they are expensive, though. I gotta say that. Hey, look, Manhattan. <laughs> uh... Yeah, uh, they're located in New York. These microscopes, they they they're very expensive though. Like I I got to show you the price. Come on, let me shop. I want this one. Look, $125 a freaking tile. That's just no. Like can you just like Give us the STL, please, and then I can download it. I just don't think it's okay to charge that much. Well, it. I guess if you're buying the print, it's okay, but, like, I just want the STL, so please, please, just give me... Yeah. Like, why would you want to spend... $125 for this piece. And it's got layer lines. Well, that's probably something else. But, why would you spend money on this? Bruh. I mean, if it was the whole mid hat, I don't freaking know, but like, this little tile should just be a different price. Or, you can just get the STL. I, I want an option to buy the STL. But yes. Thank you for watching, and that's how you make cityscapes, but for free. Wink, wink. Well, see you guys.